What was the what was going on in San Diego when that guy got bit in half by a shark a couple of years back? They were training for something. Yeah, that's a, it's funny you remember that. That was May of 2008. I remember that like it was yesterday. So at the time I lived in San Francisco. And this is actually just before I swam the Maui thing. Now that I think about it, that was 10 years ago. I swam the Maui thing in uh, June of 06, uh, June of 08. So I'm doing all my training in a swimming pool up in San Francisco because I don't want to acclimate to very cold water. I actually want to be in warm water. But I needed one long ocean swim of like 14 or 15 miles as my like last training swim. So I came down to San Diego to do it. And just by bad luck, I came down a few days after that guy was killed. Now, this was a, a guy, I didn't know him, but he was a triathlete training with a triathlon group that they would go out and swim every morning. And I know the beach exactly where it happened, in Solana Beach. And um, unfortunately, like most people who get attacked by great whites, they have a very, they always attack the same way, which is below and behind, stealth bite, up and, and then they, they retreat. So they're trying to basically injure the prey, so the, their prey exsanguinates, and then they take off, and then they wait till you bleed out. So they never saw the shark, but you could tell from the bite marks it was. Um, I actually had a friend who was on the beach and saw him when he came out, and he was basically dead when he got to shore. He had, he had bled to death. The, the problem is, so in this case, the shark had bit him and cut through his femoral arteries and veins, and the salt water prevents you from having any hemostasis. So it exacerbates the blood loss. So that's generally how folks perish when they're bit how by great How did they get whites. him out of the water? Um, a, you know, a bunch of other swimmers came to his rescue, and luckily that commotion prevents the sharks from wanting to come back. So, so three days later, I go out, and I'm swimming at that beach because I swam from my, – my training swim was La Jolla up to Solana Beach and back. And I got to tell you, like three days after a guy dies where you're swimming – it is. It was about one of the most uh, mentally challenging training swims to be like, because you can't see. Like the water at that part of the beach is so murky, you know, and you're only a couple hundred yards offshore that like you can barely see your hands when you're swimming. Um, and so you're just thinking, is this the day? Oh, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see why. Yeah, there's just something about sharks, too. I mean, they're, to me, one of the most terrifying things. Because, first of all, we're so inept in the water. I mean, even a person like you who's a great swimmer. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're a joke. Yeah, what we are in comparison to what they are, it's just you're, you're throwing yourself into the world of a super predator. And to know that one just jacked a person just a few days before and you're out there swimming around. Yeah, although I will say this, you know, when it's all said and done, all of the close encounters I've had, probably the scariest moment I've ever had in the water was doing a swim from Santa Rosa to Santa Barbara. So Santa Rosa Island, which is the second furthest north channel island, you've got San Miguel, Santa Rosa, Santa Cruz, and Anacapa represent the top four channel islands. So we did this November swim. It was a nighttime thing again, swimming from Santa Rosa Island to Santa Barbara. And, uh, at about five in the morning, maybe six in the morning, you're just starting to get enough light where you can see and you're out there. So you really have amazing visibility. And I look down probably 40 feet and I see this enormous thing swimming like this, which is how sharks swim. And I see the dorsal fin in the position that freaks me out and the tails this way, that all of that is shark. Right. And I like, you know, like lift up out of the water, kind of hyperventilate for a second. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, you got to make a judgment call here. If that's really a great white, you probably ought to get out of the water. But if you, the moment you're out of the water, that's it. The swim is over. Like you just spent like months doing this, like it's right. done. So then I convinced myself and I think I'm right. I think it was a dolphin on its side because a dolphin on its side would, its fin would, its tail fin would be the same way and it could swim that way. So in the end, I just kept swimming. But, I mean, that scared the shit out of me. Well, they have seen quite a few of them off the coast of Malibu. There's, uh, oh, some... there's tons. There's no yeah. question. Like, they're, they're, they are way more plentiful than we realize. <laughs> and all you can do is talk to the fishermen. Like, the fishermen <laughs> will tell you. They're well, like, you know, like, off Coronado? I mean, it's like there's nonstop great whites. Really? Oh, yeah. Why are you freaking me out, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> the good news is... 
<clears throat> they see us all the time, and most of the time they realize we're not what they want. Yeah, they want seals. Yeah, right? yeah. The, 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 whenever they attack us, they're making a mistake. Now, is there a like a suit you can wear, like a Kevlar suit that protect protects you from getting bitten in half? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is so funny you bring this up. I became obsessed with this thing called the, uh, oh, what was it called? Christ. You, you, you put the thing on your ankle, like you had like a little Velcro thing, you'd wrap it on your ankle and it had a tail, like this long, you know, like four foot long thing, and it was charged. And it sends out an electrical impulse that um, disturbs the shit out of the sharks. The shark's nose is an organ that senses electricity. So when a shark, like it could be pitch black, it could be soot water, and they can still scope you, you know, from hundreds of yards away based on the electrical activity of your heart. And that organ is their nose. So this little thing, I forget what it was called, like the shark taser or some shit, it puts out a signal that like tases them and they don't want to get within like... Oh, there it is. James what's it got called? it up here. The world's first shark deterrent band. It's called the shark bands. Oh, this... Worn on the wrist or ankle. Is this Maybe, it? I don't know. I, I <clears throat> thought it had a different name. But because the one that I was going to get and did a ton of research into had a really long tail hanging off it, and that became the problem. It uses it, patented magnetic technology to repel sharks. So the tail was a problem because of the drag? No, because it would... It sounds silly, but it would come up and zap you in the nuts. Oh, so you'd be, Christ. It's like, so it became unbearable to practice swimming in this thing because you're like every 37 seconds you'd get zapped by the tail. Um, and I was just like, yes. Yeah, I like how it says reduce the risk. Oh, yeah. yeah Can yeah. I get some numbers, please? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to just hear reduce. By how much? By 1% statistically. <laughs> Um, and then it also is a leash for your surfboard too. You can use one of those to trap it to your uh, strap it to your ankle. But. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, it's gonna come to me like in an hour. I'll remember what this silly thing was called. Jamie will probably find it yeah. off of Catalina. I know it's one of the best shark fishing places in the world. I have a friend of mine who told me that if you think about like wild places on Earth that are just overrun with predators, terrifying, like predator prey activity catalina island is one of the top spots in the world i was like what are you talking about mm. he's like i'm telling you man the shark fishing off catalina island is fucking insane and then i watched a television show just you know synchronicity uh, a couple days later and it was these guys shark fishing off of catalina i was like what in the fuck i could have never guessed they're catching makos mostly. Yeah, and and it's actually my recollection because we swam around Catalina once as well. The backside is way more aggressive than the front side. The uh, side that faces the Pacific, the side that rather yeah, than faces exactly. Los Angeles. That's right. Yeah, yeah there's way more crazy sense. stuff out yeah, there. Yeah, I think that's exactly where they were. Yeah, it looked pretty nuts. I mean, they were bringing in these 15 foot sharks. I mean, I was like, what in the fuck? These are just floating around out there. 